got up this morning thinking, what the hell did I do this for? But, uh, you know what, if the people enjoy it uh, and I survive it, we did okay. If uh, either of them two things don't work out, it's not, it wasn't a very good decision. Being an American and having the opportunities that us Americans have now, the lineage dates back to him, Kenny Roberts. What I do is the only way I can do it, and it just so happens that it's worked so far. I think without Kenny, <clears throat> we might not be here. He was the godfather that brought us all over to Europe and uh, showed us more or less that it was possible. And uh, yeah, he's, he paved the way for us. He was the guy that took the risk and the gamble to leave something that was uh, a for sure deal, which is here racing in America, and then to go overseas into a culture that Americans were very unfamiliar with as far as racing motorcycles. And then to go over there and win the world championship his first time. And not only once, two more times in a row for a total of three. How can you not follow somebody like that? For American fans, it's similar to Dale Earnhardt. He was the first one who started dragging his knee and, you know, the first outspoken one on safety for, you know, riders and stuff like that. And just one of them figures that could ride stuff that nobody could really ride and, and control and, and won races on stuff. It's a 1980 World Championship bike. It's been sitting in a museum for about 30 years and uh, not quite as old as I am, but but it's uh, about halfway there. We didn't have a whole lot of time to repair it. It was kind of a last minute thing and uh, we needed some parts in the last couple weeks. And so luckily um, some people came through, people in Japan, people in uh, all over the place, all over the world. Are you nervous at all for a Like I was having a baby or somebody was having a baby. You know, these things can bite you very quickly. I mean, you're talking about 150 horsepower and about 200 pounds uh, weight. So power to weight ratio is very high and it's got a very narrow power bend. And hopefully the tires warm up enough to, to let me gas it a little bit. But we'll see. Should be interesting. Feels better. Yeah, it's better. Do you uh, have any muscle memory from back then that'll help you out a little bit? Do you think you remember how to ride it? I have a lot of muscle memory about this, a lot of patches on my butt about this bike, so yeah, it's uh, it throw me down the road quite often. Well, if you know Kenny and you know his personality, he rides the exact same way. He is uh, unintimidated by anybody, and it shows. He'll ride it to his limit, which will probably be faster than most people think. Well, he always goes too fast, but like, I mean, he hasn't got any smarter as he got older, so you know he's going to go faster than he should order to go. <laughs> Rich, but it ran. It uh, the power was a little off. It was real safe. Let's put it that way. 
Uh, well, the bike and him made it, so that's, uh, that's all we can hope for. Riding that bike the way he did here in Laguna Seca in front of all these people, and it looked like he just got off it from 1980, so perfect. Fantastic to see. I think for Yamaha, for Kenny as well, it's, uh, it's just great for the sport.